Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming and today we are going to build MDF terrain, more specifically this Hive City Chapel from Tabletop Scenics. Man, I can't wait to show you this. Let's check it out. So this Hive City Chapel is an amazing MDF kit. Um, just like, I mean, there's just so many layers of detail on this MDF kit. It is so involved. It goes like five layers deep, which is why there's like so much depth and dynamics to this building. It is, um, it's also modular, right? So you get multiple levels, which is really cool. Um, which I mean, like just so good. I mean, all these windows that you can, you can like see in. So if there are models in there, you could put them in there. You could see them um, through all these, like, ah, it's just so good. So I can't wait to show you guys this, this kit as well. You give, you'll, if you watch this video in its entirety, you'll definitely pick up, I mean, between <laughs> like five and 10 uh, little techniques for building MDF terrain as you go along the way. And so, um, so if you, you know, if, if if you're like, ah, what, I don't really care what kit it is, I just want to learn MDF Terrain, this video is for you. Um, but if you're like, man, I just need help building my Hive City Chapel, um, then this video is also for you. So it's kind of like a step-by-step -step how to build, but also um, how to for this kit, but also how to for MDF Terrain as well. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, let's jump down and, uh, and take a look at, um, at the start of this and let's get building. Guys, let's have some fun. All right, so here we are with the Hive City Chapel. You can see we have the beautiful image of the building we're gonna build today. We have the instruction book. This will come in very handy as there are a lot of pieces in this kit because um, it's just a beautiful kit, so much detail. Uh, we have all of our MDF boards, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H um, that you'll need. Uh, as well, some of the materials that we'll be using, uh, we need a damp rag, a knife, and uh, some glue. I got some white glue and some super glue there. Um, white glue for just most of the stuff, um, and then super glue, if, just in case we need something to dry real quick, we'll throw some super glue on there. And last but not least, a paintbrush. So there you go, that's the materials we'll need. Um, the first few steps, uh, focus on sheets a b and c so let's clear all this away and uh, and get ready to do the first steps so here we go first things first we want to just take our damp rag and we actually want to wipe down the mdf boards uh, really lightly um, just from the the cutting process there's a thin layer of sawdust all over it um, and so this will just help the paint stick this will help our glue stick um, and just like really lightly damp like don't don't do anything too intense guys um, you don't want to get this stuff wet. That's very, very bad. So just, just ever so slightly damp just to get that top layer of dust off. All right, so you can see, very, very simple. Go through and do that for all your boards. So I'm done with the damp cloth on all my boards and I've taken out uh, boards A, B, and C because um, those are the three boards that we primarily focus on in the first few steps. Um, so I'm going to, um, not only am I teaching you guys how to build MDF kits in general, but specifically this will be a tutorial on how to build this kit, the Hive City Chapel from Tabletop Scenics. So um, we're going to go through step by step everything you need to do to build this guy. Um, so first off, uh, what we're going to do is just pull out all the pieces um, for step one and put them in a pile pull out all the pieces for step two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm gonna do all those. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll just make six piles. So I'll do like pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four, pile five, pile six. Um, and I kind of like to work assembly line like that. It helps speed things up. Um, so you're not always clearing the hobby desk, going back to things. So I like to work in multiple stages all at once. Um, it does mean you have to stay organized though. And so just make sure you're not mixing and matching your, your pieces together. Keep your piles nice and separated and organized if you're gonna work like me. So, um, so all right, let's just start off. I'll show you guys how to cut um, MDF out of these boards here. Um, and we'll just do, I'll, I'll show you all of step number one. So um, first off, we are going for board A. Okay, so that's this guy here, and you can see they are lettered on each one. Very easy um, to navigate, which is great. So we got board A, 
and we need piece 1a and so if we look here they're all also numbered so every piece has every every uh, section of MDF board has a letter and every piece has a number so there you go um, so if you can see the way uh, this MDF stuff is cut is it's a laser right so the laser is cutting all the way through the board and periodically the laser will turn off for just a brief nanosecond and leave just a little spot where it's still attached um, to the main board and so what we'll do here is come in and just find all those spots and we'll take our hobby knife and we'll just cut through them okay so all it takes is just a little bit of pressure to cut through those spots there so we'll just go all the way around and just pop 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 one more fabulous so that should be good beautiful so there is piece 1a um, now the picture does show it with all of these bits knocked out and so these are probably little connector bits to have other bits of, of wall um, connect onto this piece and so we'll just go ahead and poke those out cool and those you probably do not need the image also shows it with these windows out as well and so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll just cut those bits out as well fabulous now now that your piece is fully out and ready to go um, you do want to just check to make sure that all of those cuts are smooth um, in this case they're pretty good we do have one here sticking up a little bit so I'll just use the knife to just smooth it out a little bit there same thing here we could probably smooth that one out a little bit and so every time you cut a piece out just go ahead make it nice and clean great so here you go so there's piece 1a now it also actually the rest of the pieces for step um, step one are on frame B so let's put frame A aside and C aside we'll grab frame B and we're looking for 2B which is just like a these little window guys here so let's see it's just these oval bits so we'll grab those and it does have the middle showing as poked out so there we go so we'll grab grab those put them aside and there's two of them there's two as well easy now we got 3b and that's these guys here and what it looks to be is like a whole bunch of little slats these guys here cool so let's start off with these bits just put these out And we can go ahead we can cut all of those individual bits out let's do that in a second and we also need 4b uh, and there are one two three four of those fabulous so it looks like railings to hold the slats in and kind of on an angle which is a very cool very cool detail One set and the other. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and clean up our workspace real quick and punch out all these tiny uh, little window slats and come back with everything. Go ahead and clean all the edges as well. Um, so anywhere you cut it out, you can go ahead and clean the edges. So let's do all that. We'll, we'll clean, we'll cut, um, and actually I'm going to go ahead as well 
and make my six piles of so steps one to six, um, all the piles for all the stuff, organize them and we'll come back right after that. So go ahead and do that as well. And here's everything cut out. I actually went all the way to step seven because that kind of completes one major section. So there you go. Um, punch out every piece. I've got them organized. Step one, step two, step three, um, step four, step five, and step six. And step seven. Uh, sorry, step six. Ah, step six is assembled. Once these are assembled, sticking them onto the big thing. So there you go. Um, so I got all seven steps around, and now what we got to do is just start gluing things together. Um, so I got my PVA glue, and we'll just take some, and we will put it onto our little palette right here. This is regular old white glue. Super, super easy. We're all familiar with it. All right, so let's uh, jump into step number 1A. And so here we go. So we got our first piece here, and there's a little note to watch out for the floor. Uh, level and which side of the wall you glue the elements to and so um, we're going to be gluing the things onto the back side of it okay because you can see the number here and there are pieces that will cover the number at the end but this is definitely the front side um, okay so <clears throat> best thing to do with uh, MDF realistically any terrain is to always uh, is to always dry fit everything um, so what we're going to do is just see how these fit. And so, all right, looks like it just, you know, kind of fits on the back there and, uh, and leaves a little bit of a lip. Um, pretty simple. So the tricky part will be making sure that that is all smooth and level here. Um, so yeah, that should be, that should be all right. And then we'll be able to I mean, these, let's dry fit uh, some of these steps in. Um, looks like they all just kind of slide in. And it should be not a problem. Fabulous. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start off by getting these two little guys attached to the back here. And I'm actually, I think I might like use super glue for this so this dries faster um, and we get a nice solid uh, connection. So here we go. Let's just take some super glue and just run it a bead all the way around. We'll take our window frame and I'll actually flip it around so we can see so I'm going to get it nice and even as we attach it beautiful I use super thick super glue so there's definitely some working time with it which is nice and there we go Cool, so let's do the other one. Get a little bead all the way around. Stick that on again. Line it up so that everything is nice and even. Beautiful. Alrighty. So we can set that aside for now. And we'll just go ahead and build one of these uh, little step ladders on camera. And then I'll let you go ahead and build the other one on your own. So, what I think I might do is stick a little glue in each of these little sections. and then just start slotting in pieces. And then hopefully we'll be able 
Hmm. You know, maybe we'll put glue on both sides. Now that I have two pieces in, I think if I get too far along, it'll be too hard to line them all up. So now that I got a couple pieces in, let's put glue on the other side. <coughs> and line it up while there's still just two. So that should be fairly simple to do. And then we can go one at a time and slot them in. Of course, the danger with super glue is getting it all over your fingers, which I totally am right now. That's generally the life of a hobbyist. Obviously, be careful. You don't want to glue your fingers together and have to go to the hospital or something ridiculous. Again, you can use white glue if you're, uh, if you're worried about this, but I want this to dry a little bit faster so that I can just keep filming this video for you guys. Bam. Plugging away now. All right. So there you go. So there's one window frame panel right there. What do you call these? Um, shutters? Yeah, it's one set of shutters right there. Sweet. So go ahead. I'll turn the camera off. Go ahead and build. Tell you what. Let's just take a, uh, a break right here and go ahead and build up all your shutters all at once so that they're ready when we get to each step along the way. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're back and all of our window shutters are assembled. Um, so going back to step one, we can take this piece and take our two window shutters um, and they have them angled downwards, glued in behind uh, these window frames right here. So let's do that. Let's just take a little of the super glue and kind of just line those edges and line them up. And then check the front. Yeah, it looks not bad. Cool. Great. Let's do the same on the other side. Thick gel super glue. Shutter's pointing down. Stick it on there. And I just want to check the angles. Beautiful. Great. So I'm going to leave that down like that. Oh, gravity just to kind of hold that together. And let's move on to step two. So that'll involve these pieces right here. And so it seems like it is much of the same. Um, so we got offsetting window pieces just to give that level of detail All right. fabulous so a little bit of super glue center that up make sure it's nice and even Centered, nice and even, and same thing over here.
Alright. There's those. And then um, we have two of these fancy windows on the outsides um, with these kind of flat panels in behind it. So it looks like these get glued on here. And they must go somewhere in here like that. Okay. Sounds good. And the middle window has uh, just another layer of um, paneling and then some window shutters in behind. So let's, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we'll do maybe we'll do these first. So let's let's glue those on. Let's get a little bit of glue on the back side. Make sure that you do do the right side because there is this. Uh, if you look closely up on these ones, there is one cool little laser detail on the middle panel there. So make sure that's uh, facing outwards. Oops. All right. And we can just line up the two center holes. And then make sure it is aligned. And actually, because I can see the number seven there, I think I might, it's not too late, put this on the other side. Beautiful. I'm going to set that off to the side to lean because there's glue on both sides now. Okie dokie. And let's do the other one. It's all fairly straightforward. There are just a lot of steps to do. Um, it's totally worth it to get all the levels of detail going on on these. Sweet. All right, so those two are done. I'll leave that for a second to dry. Let's do this middle window while we wait. So using the super glue really helps reduce drying time, which is awesome. Let's level that out from the other side. Perfectly centered, just little micro adjustments. Oops. And then I screwed it all up. Beautiful. Cool. Let's attach the shutter. And we'll just make sure we have those going the same direction as the other ones. Beauties. that for a minute um, and then these should be good enough to stick in here it should be fairly simple just stick a little glue the tops and bottoms and those should just slot in Cool, too easy. So you've kind of seen how that works. Um, you can go ahead and do step number three. It's the exact same thing, just another one. And so we'll come back when step number three is done. All right, and we are done. So everything's together and we're ready for step number four. And so um, something I did notice was I, uh, I glued the shutters a little bit too low. So when I was dry fitting the floor panel, I actually couldn't get it to stand up. Uh, straight because the uh, the shutter was getting in the way so I just took my clippers and I clipped off the excess wood there um, won't affect the structural stability of it at all 
the super glue is keeping it together um, really well. So let's. Uh, so the next step is to kind of glue these four walls, um, three walls, the, the roof and the floor together. Um, so just a quick little dry fit here. Um, should be pretty good. Fabulous. So let's go ahead and get that done. Um, so something to always watch out for is what side do you want to put glue on? And so um, the, uh, the flooring connects um, and this side of it is where you want glue because that's what butts up against the wall. Um, so let's go ahead and let's put a thin layer of glue on there and as well, let's check these ones. Um, all right, so we'll put a thin layer of glue just down that edge there on the back wall. All right. So there we go. A thin layer of glue there. Rock and roll. And a thin layer of glue on the bottom edge where it'll connect with the floor. Great. Those propped up. And oh shoot. Of course, I need some glue along here. There we go. Okie dokie. So here, actually let's do it this way. Let's that one on. And then attach one of the sides. Fabulous, just hold that for a second. Lift this wall up. Beautiful. Don't want to stick to the floor. <laughs> to the cutting mat. That's what happened there. I was stuck to the cutting mat. And when I tried to unstick it, it fell apart. should get some tack in a few seconds just inspect to make sure everything's lining up properly beautiful looks like it is so what I'll do now is just run some glue along this top edge and we can stick the ceiling on Again, I'm using super glue because I want a, a nice quick build so that I can just keep filming this for you guys. But again, you can use like wood glue or white glue. There we go. So that'll hold together real nice. And that is all the way up until step four. Beauty. So let's just ha let that sit there and we can move on to step five, which I have all the pieces pre-cut out here for you. Um, and it is again just uh, just kind of like assembling some really cool ornate windows and so um, you get a whole bunch of these openings you get a whole bunch of these cool designs and so it kind of goes um, two of the or six of these ones and uh, two of these open ones with shutters um, so I imagine if we just dry fit this, that these just kind of plug in behind there. Yeah, too easy. So let's go ahead. I'll show you one of these and then we can cut it so you can do the rest on your own. So there's one. And same concept of, as what we've been doing before. Just kind of line this up and then make sure it is nice and even beauties so do six more of those the only difference um, being the other two with the shutters we'll do one of those so you can see you can go ahead and do the second one on your own so again we'll line this up nice and even 
Brilliant. Then we'll get some glue on here and put one of the shutters on. This time we're going to glue it on a little bit higher off the ground so, so that there's no conflict. Just make sure those shutters are pointing the same direction. Here's my other ones. Higher off the ground this time. Beauties. All right, so go ahead and assemble all the rest of those. Great, so now that all those are done, we can go ahead and put these windows on. And so it's uh, two cross windows and then one shutter window and so forth, repeating until the end. And so they're kind of neat. They, uh, they insert in here so that we can complete this curved shape around the side of the building. Um, so what I will do is I'll just put a little dab of glue in this underneath portion um, and we'll do We'll do two at a time for sake of ease. And let's come up, shove that in, and then slot it down the bottom. We'll wipe away any squeeze out the bottom so we don't stick to our cutting mat anymore. <laughs> and do number two. Great. And so let's just keep going around. Put a little bit of glue. each of the top bits and a little bit of glue in each of these bits fabulous and these should just go in lickety split now we'll have our first floor looking pretty snazzy Hopefully the floor is open so you can reach in and grab it from both sides. There we are. Oh, this one didn't click in. There it goes. Swipe the squeeze out away, all the way around. Fabulous. Now that is a cool looking bottom floor right there. Awesome. So let's get on to step number seven, and then we're we get to cut some more pieces out and have some more fun. Here we go. Okay, so now we have these decorative window pieces to kind of add a fifth layer of detail. We're going five layers of MDF deep on some of these. Um, and they just go right over top like this. These larger three pieces going on the flat sides and these single pieces um, going around these single windows here. So you kind of have two layers of those square bricks. And so um, very simple, let's chuck some glue on. Boom, and then just make sure you don't cover these holes here. Line that up, a couple places you can line it up. Line it up right on the edge of the hole there and there, as well line these circles up. Um, cool, and let's do one of the smaller ones and then you can go and complete the rest on your own. Fabulous, and just line that up perfectly. Easy, too easy. Look at that, just adding another layer of depth and detail. So here you go, go ahead and do it on the whole thing. And there it is, all complete. So that is a beautiful looking first floor right there. Let's go ahead and move on to the other sections um, of this piece. There, there are a couple more sections to add on to this and, uh, and then we'll just keep going. So let's have some fun with that. And we're back. So the uh, the next few um, steps include a whole bunch of pieces from the B frame and uh, one piece from the H frame. And so go ahead and cut out everything that you need and we'll check back in. You guys know how to cut pieces out. You don't need me to tell you how to do it. So go ahead and cut all the ones out in the instruction book. Um, I'm going to do steps 8, 9, 10 and I'll check back in with you in a minute. 
And here's all the pieces cut out for the next few steps. Um, so what we're going to do is start off with the back kind of hatchway entryway um, that attaches onto here. And then we'll add all the little columns that kind of align around the, uh, the corners. So um, let's go ahead and just stick the, uh, the top two pieces on first, because why not? It'll be a nice, easy way to kind of just line everything up. We got this nice two piece little dilly here with this nice kind of Imperial Eagle. Fabulous. Stick that on. Now we can get a drop of glue in each of these and along each of these rims here. And attach the walls to kind of hold them up. Now they've got these uh, little things here to make sure that the two pieces above snap into. Fabulous on the one side, too easy on the other. All right, let's. Uh, get our door going so it's a nice like cool three layer door thing here um, yeah beauties okay so let's just put a bunch of glue on this flat panel here drop those bits in awesome and then we got this kind of frame and hinges, not hinges, I guess just, just a cool like studded frame. All right. Stick that down, line it up perfect so you don't get any streaks of glue. Actually I may, I might have it upside down. Let's just turn the other way real quick. Oh yeah, did have it upside down. So there you go, there's something to watch for, make sure. Um, so when I had it upside down, the bottom one was just a little off center there, so. There you go, perfect. And then there is one more piece that kind of goes on top of that one. So we'll just stick some glue in the corner on the edge on either side for the nice thick piece from, uh, from the H frame. Sweet, that's a nice little frame to that door. Love the depth on these models. These are great. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So um, we can go ahead. Let's add our detail piece. Um, so we got these guys. They just kind of they go on the outside of there to really give a nice cap to there, cover up this mess, um, and add some nice detailing. So let's do that on either side. Hold that on there, line it up perfect. Give it a second for the glue to tack. And we can start putting glue on the next piece, I guess, while I'm holding it. Fabulous. The other one. Hold those two on real quick. And while we're holding those, we can just dry fit these windows. May as well just keep working. Looks like those windows actually will be able to kind of like hold those pieces in too. So that'll be nice. Those on both sides. Awesome. Shove those right in there. And 
just make sure they're not blocking any of these holes here. And great, so that's a sweet looking little entryway. Let's let's move on to um, the kind of corner uh, edges there. So these guys kind of stick in beauties. Let's do a little dry fit run here. Um, Go. Cool. And so you can, there's uh, four sets of number 34. And if you mix and match them the right way, you can get the numbers all facing on the inside. So go ahead, watch out for that. And um, that'll really help you as you go. Make sure you don't have any numbers like sticking out the edges. Go ahead and put some glue on there. Sweet. And Oops. Did I grab one of the wrong ones? Oh, there it goes. Get over here. 34, 34. Beautiful. Now we're looking for uh, 36 and 37. Um, so kind of on an angle. So I think yeah, it just has to go like that, doesn't it? Okay. Cool. Just dry fitting again. So I know where to put my glue. do is we'll do these and then maybe we'll do the piece that goes on top so we can line line these up all right so let's put it in there what we'll do too uh, is actually get some glue in this guy as well and then we'll go for it. Oh, forgot to do a part. It's actually these uh, these little turbines on the inside. I wonder if I can do it while it's there. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's get those turbines on. Make sure you line it up. Hmm. All the same. Cool. This one, well, this one's still attached. Probably a good sign. Great, actually, I'm lined up pretty good. Okay, let's get this piece back on here. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right, let's do the turbines right away on this one. Um, actually, tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do it. Do it real quick. Lined up pretty easy. Fabulous. 
quick little dry fit. Okay. Let's get glue on both sides of this piece. Well, someone's a little upset outside. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that car horn honking. It's late at night, I wonder what wonder what's going on out there. Alright, so we got all our glue in. Now let's line these up. Beauty's not bad at all. Alright, so let's go ahead. Um, we'll, just, we'll just check the alignment here. Okay, so they're just, these are more of like a cap on top of this, as opposed to uh, something that helps it align, so you don't have to worry too much about it, I guess. Great, that's good news. Okay, cool. So let's leave that to the side, and then what we'll do is just start chucking some glue in the sides here. We've got our number 33 pieces. Do it so the numbers on the inside again. Um, oh yeah, there's also little turbines on these things. So, so let's do that again. Number on the inside, and so take the number side and put glue on that side, so that it's on the inside of these little turbine walls. And uh, just drop these little fans. And behind there. Again, trying to line them up so they're in the center. Cool. I like it, I like it. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, let's get the other one done real quick. Number on the inside. Okay, let's check the line them all up. Oops. And the last one. Cool. All right. Man, these guys really do make nicely detailed kits. I'm super jazzed about this. Okay, so drop a little bit of glue in each of those and then get some glue running on the sides. Cool. Now let's drop this guy in here. Just push that together. Nice and tight. Just run my finger down there, get rid of any squeeze out. Cool. Same thing on the other side. And then we can put that the top piece on, which is rather exciting. There's our other 33s. Okay. Beautiful. Just hold that for attack. Beautiful. All right, now there are a couple pieces that, uh, that we should also throw on here. And they're the pieces that go right here, right underneath the turbines. So 
So there we go. It's kind of like a little stencil you can follow to make sure they go in the right spot. Cool. Get them on both sides. And then we'll throw that top piece on. Man, these are so great. Like, these guys do not slack on these. Like, most most MDF kits that I've seen out there, they're just like, huh. each building is just, you know, a couple walls, that's it. Maybe like one or two sheets of MDF, but man, this is, like I said, five layers of detail deep on some of these sections. It's just really, this thing's coming to life. I'm, I'm super stoked about it. Um, all right, so now let's, let's get down this big top piece. Um, yeah, so we don't really have to think too hard just get a thin layer of glue around the outside. Careful not to go too far in. Because with any luck, these buildings might be multi-leveled, which would be really cool. All right. Well, just check all the way around, make sure we've got some decent overhang, an even amount of overhang on all the sides. Not quite, let's shift it over a little bit. Noticing too, you should line them up with the, uh, the little rectangles where the, where the walls have pegged together. Um, looks like it's supposed to go perfectly along those all the way around. There we go. That is looking cool. Just so much more dynamic now with these little wall sections sticking out and this little, this sweet like hatchway at the back. That's awesome. All right, great. So let's, uh, let's set that aside and see what's coming up next. All right, so we need a bunch of pieces from sheet C, D, and E, and I'm gonna go from uh, steps number 12 to 18, which is basically the entire second floor. So go ahead and cut out all the pieces from those sheets that you'll need. Same thing, do them in stages, lay them out so it's nice and organized and you don't lose pieces. So there you go, let's be back right after everything's cut out. Let's see you in a sec. So I've got all the pieces cut out and laid out for the second floor. And uh, so let's just let's just go to town on this and have some fun. Um, so first things first, we got uh, got this circle detail for the for the window, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's get some glue on this guy. All right. Just make sure you have all your. Uh, Fancy laser details on the top side. And line that up, perfect. There we go. Cool. So you can leave that sit. All right, you got some more uh, shutters to do, so um, we could do these shutters next. Um, so just go ahead and do those. We've done those before. Um, we'll be back in a snap. And we're back, so we got the two shutters put together. And uh, so here's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna dry fit this up real quick. Cause this guy sticks in right here. Nah, looks good. Cool. Let's put a little, little circle of glue in there. All right, make sure she lines up nice. And then we'll stick the shutters right here. Perfect. And again, let's have them same directions as the other ones. And high enough up so that they're not touching the floor. Don't interrupt the placement of the other ones. The placement of the walls, I guess I mean. Beauties. Cool. 
So there's that. All right, let's leave that one to sit. Now there's a whole bunch of windows to assemble, and you're essentially gonna, you're going to do two of these. Um, yeah, two of these, and so here's uh, we'll just start with one set of them. Um, but basically, it is one of these with one of these on top, and then one of these guys. So these are the these are the fifties. These are the 49s, um, and these are the 48s. And so they just go kind of like that. Um, and then these just go in, and these attach onto the back of those like that. So go ahead, um, glue all those on, and uh, do it all six of them, and then we'll be right back after that. And there they are, all six of them done. And so now we can start attaching them onto the walls here. Boop, boop. And then once they're on the walls, there's just two little turbines that we can also stick on there to make sure they're aligned. So here we go. These walls together, just kind of slap them down. And then we'll line them up after. Come here, little piece. All right. So. go actually just move this turbine a little bit oops maybe I shouldn't have done all five pieces at once <laughs> all right oh there we go Beautiful. So there you go. Go ahead and do the other wall that is exactly the same. And we're done. Okay, it's something I noticed um, is that I didn't dry fit these pieces on here, and so I actually did the uh, did them backwards. So make sure you dry fit so that you don't do something like what I just did. Um, all right, but let's. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. No. Try to fit this one too. Put this one on the wrong side too, and I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no, this can't be. This has to be the right side. Where is it? Yo, you know what? We can turn this upside down. Aha! Super smart. There we go. Now everything's great. <laughs> um, so there you go. So now we've got that all lined up. Okay, so let's get some glue going. Brilliant. I was really worried about that for a minute. So then trick there guys was cromlex side down on the floor all right and let's get a line of glue coming across here Glue coming across here.
beauties. There we have it. Three walls all together. And now we can just go straight into the top piece that should fit right on top like that. So let's do that. Just get a little glue going all around on the top. And then our second floor is really starting to take shape. pop into place. Beautiful. Look at that. And with any luck, this thing just slots right in there. Cool. Very, very neat. All right, let's keep those separate so we can keep building away. All right, so the next thing is to put uh, those layers of windows around here. And so there are two configurations. Um, one set is these with these double turbines and so you can go ahead and stick those turbines on <clears throat> and uh, they all stick into um, what is it called these uh, the 55 E's and so they all kind of they slot in behind like that and then we'll just be shoving them in place around there um, the other type is this kind of graded window with the turbine behind that top circle there so let's go ahead um, and do those, do all those. I think there's eight of them. So do both of these, put the turbines in, stick them to the frames, and same thing here. Put the turbine in that, stick that to the frame. So let's go do all those. There we go. So I got all eight windows complete. And just like previous, let's shove them all in here. So one, two, little dab of glue. All the way around. As well let's slot them in ah, this looks super cool love these graded windows let's get one of these double <coughs> excuse me double turbine windows in there Two more graded windows, double turbine, and then the last two. Whoa. Last one's a little trickier, <coughs> but there it is. All right, so moving right along, we then have the top aesthetic layer to throw in there. Super detailed, love these. Love the laser cutting of the, uh, what do you call that? Like spiral uh, pillar almost look right here. It's neat. Cool, so let's just chuck down a bunch of glue, throw these flat pieces on, and then we can get the buttresses going. Let's do them on all three sides. Line these up. Love it just covers all of the uh, Covers all of the um, like interlocking portions, like the parts that just wouldn't look as nice, you know. Um, that normally most MDF kits like just kind of leave out in the open. Um, a lot of these facing pieces really, really cover them up, and it adds a bunch of layers. So these these terrain pieces are going to be really solid. Super stoked. Looking good. So now we just have to put the finishing layers on these ones as well. So we can go ahead and do that. Factory 
go ahead and style it. Drop, 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 drop. Beautiful. Like the little, little bolt detailing, man, it's just so detailed, it's so good. So then, now that we have all these, we just need to go around and get all our buttresses on. Then we may be done this floor, which would be really exciting. Okay, let's cut out all of the rest of our buttress pieces and get them glued on. And we're back. So I got all the buttresses, I got a couple of the detail pieces for the back, and then I have the rim to go around the top of the front. Um, and uh, so let's do those. So first off, let's get these back and details in here. Just a little bit of glue. Too cool. And those just slide right in there. Too easy. Add another layer of depth. Very cool looking. Kind of split this piece by accident pulling it out. So let's put a little glue inside there too. Just to fix that back up. Hold that in. Beautiful. All right. So I'll hold that for a second. And while I'm waiting for it, well, I guess we might as well do some uh, some of these buttresses. Um, so I think they glue together and then they get plugged in side by side. Let's see if those fit. Do a little dry fit while we're waiting. Oh yeah, that's nice and snug. You almost don't need any glue. Oh my gosh, can't even, can't even get it out. Whoa. There we go. Great. Well, may as well put a little bit of glue in there, eh? even though it's so snug. Just a little, little encouragement to Beautiful. Look at that. Nice. Now let's do the other one. One for the back. Sliding around a little bit. Okay, get in there. Oh, still sliding around. That's okay. Let's get you plugged in first. There we go. Nice and even now. Great. Oh, those look super cool. All right, so let's go around and do them um, all around, all the different sides. We'll be right back. There they are. All the buttresses are on. Looking. Fresh, love those eagles. So let's just stick this uh, stick this piece on, and uh, then this second floor I think is uh, is done. So nice little rim of glue right around the edge. Love this train. It's detailed. It's solid. Again, we'll line this up with the, uh, with the little rectangles here for where all the pieces fit together. Boom, looks like we nailed that. And so, let's see our progress so far. So, looks like the buttresses help the whole thing click in together. To be like one solid piece of terrain. There it is. There. Nice. So that actually is really snug. That's just fitting together, grabbing onto itself. That is cool. Look at that. Just 
fantastic. So much detail. Man, they got a lot of windows in the 40k universe, don't they? <laughs> Man, this is great. Look at this back entrance. Man, just so much going on. Can't wait to build up the roof. So, let's uh, let's put this aside and start working on the finishing touches. This puppy's almost done. All right, next up, let's cut out all the pieces that we need for the roof and just get going on that roof feature. Um, so. We'll be back right in a second once we've cut out all the pieces um, for the next few steps. And there's all the pieces for the roof, which is actually the remaining pieces in the entire kit. And so let's go ahead and start building kind of the framework for the roof. Um, all right, so I've noticed uh, out of the four pieces here, one of them is different. Or sorry, three pieces here, one of them is different. And one of them just has these little notches cut up on the side. The other two are flat. And so this one has to go on the end of one of them um, so that it can it can go right on top of this piece here um, cool so uh, let's just start off and put a little glue in all of these notches on all three of these Do 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 and third love the design on this uh this roof i was going through i've obviously looked ahead at all the instructions and man it's just super cool there's so many cool layers of detail that we are that we're going to go through um all right so now we want to actually start with our end piece um, and if you notice these uh, long pieces, there's two different ends on them, one like this, and then one like this with a little divot. Take the end uh, like this and have it on the end piece with the cuts in it. So, for example, just like that. And uh, we also want to make sure that all of these guys are on the same side so watch out for that too all right one two and three the last one doesn't clip in so let's start lining it up here okay there it goes when I say it doesn't clip in, I mean it uh, just like sticks in. The other ones are like, ah, you'll see it when you get up close there. Just rests up against it. Whoop. Awesome. All right, so now let's get the ones going across the top. Second, so hold it there while it tacks. There we go. Cool. And the last one. Oh, I'm not showing you. There it is. So we got the whole piece going across the top. Let's do the other one. It is all the, always the issue doing stuff on camera is. Uh, making sure you stay in frame normally when I'm like painting and hobbying I'm like curled up in my chair moving positions all the time so like stay in front of a camera is uh, <laughs> it's it can uh, yeah it can be a little challenging sometimes all right so now let's get a little test fit here beauties so you guys can see it just kind of sits in there like that and so what we'll do is Put a little glue this edge here. I'm kind of doing it towards the top end of that edge um, to hopefully avoid it uh, sticking to the cutting mat. Cool. Fun. OK. 
Okay, now on the other side, so on this side of it, um, we have like this faceplate uh, with some cool details on it. So let's do those first things first. Um, let's see here. I think actually, I think actually this piece might be a way that for all this to insert in here, and I just want to dry fit check this. Yeah, okay, cool. So those grooves line up with the uh, the crossbars. Very neat, okay. That's good to know. Uh, because what I think I might do, uh, this um, this turbine piece, uh, glues in behind it. There's more of these like double layered turbines that look like they're sunken in, uh, which is amazing, by the way. Most MDF kits, you just have like a thing on the on the surface, but so much of this is like they add so much depth to it, which I'm just loving out of these kits. Great. And so now that I've got that there, now I think I'm actually going to glue it into. into here, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It fits perfectly right there. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, ah, and I bet, I bet these guys fit perfectly right here. Aha, too cool. Okay, yeah, I was wondering how I was going to line all this stuff up properly, but they actually made it really easy. Um, if you can see that this is how it goes, which now I do. What I think I'll do is I'll just let it sit there for a sec. i just put some glue on top. Too easy. Uh, all right, yeah, now I can actually just put the faceplate on, so let's just do that. Great. So this is the this is the blank piece on both sides. So just go ahead, stick that right there. Ah, perfect. That actually went a lot more smoothly than I was thinking it might. Okay. Great. Well, now um, now we're going to add some of the. Uh, um, some of the wall siding to this. And so, uh, this building has two chimneys in it. Um, if, let's call this the front for now, from our perspective, one of the front side, uh, the front one is on the right side. And so if you're taking these, these plates, um, basically you'll get it right if you put the number that's on it face down. So just gonna do a little dry fit here, and then should be good to just plug these on. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's just get a little glue on there. It should be good to go. And I'll actually put some glue on the, this top crossbar as well, because we are going to be putting on the top piece at the same time. Great, okay, so this one, number down. Too easy, this one, number down. Okay, so then we have this blank guy as well. Let's put it, this is number 79. Fabulous, so that just goes right there. Um, you got these little grooves that obviously line up with these grooves.
Cool. So now if you turn this around, um, I think it's, yeah, it's piece number 82. Uh, so these guys, and they're all the same. And you can just, you kind of line those up like this. Um, fabulous. So that should be pretty easy. Just dry fitting a couple just to try out. And then we can start gluing. So, yeah, why not? There we go, eh? Cool. Yeah, let's just do it. So a little bit of glue. All the way around here. And then maybe, yeah, we'll just do it like this. Just get a big line like big glob hanging right off this whole edge here. Cool. Now the good the good thing about these is there's actually like two layers. There's like the, bah, it's like the basic frame. Um, and then there's like the detail pieces. So you can be a little bit messy on just the, the ones that just give it the framework, um, which I like because it means you got, you know, you got some wiggle room on a lot of stuff. Hmm. This one up a little higher. It seems to be falling off when I put this next piece on. Okay. Bah! Yeah, this is this this part. That's definitely a little bit tricky. Especially cuz these these things are like just attaching on like a corner. It's not as much of a solid flat contact like most of this stuff is. Um So understandably so that it's harder time here. Um, one, because it's like along the corner of a laser burn, which means there'll be less contact point for the, the glue to want to like soak into. Because normally the NDF stuff like just, it takes so well because if you're gluing it to any of the regular flat surfaces, it just soaks up so much glue. Because it's essentially just like sawdust. <laughs> That's what MDF is made out of. Or does it need to be like, let's take it. Hmm, no, I think we're doing this right. I think it's just tough. We'll give that. Give that a second, give some of them time to firm up before we mess with it anymore. Oh, ruined it, ruined it. <laughs> Actually, if we do it up, propped up here, then it won't be, then it won't stick to the, to the uh, cutting mat, which is what just happened. I lifted it off the cutting mat and the pieces had stuck <laughs> to the cutting mat. I actually need uh, need more glue. All the glue is soaked away on the bottom part. Okay, let's get back to it. It is. 
Uh oh. talk to you guys I think we got it yes <laughs> okay so that was a little overly complicated um, but I mean how else with an MDF kit are you gonna get this beautiful curve I mean that is it, it, it makes the whole building right it's all these curved pieces and it, and it really was what like at the end of the day is gonna make this not look like an MDF kit um, People are going to see this and be like, what the heck is that made out of? Um, like the level of detail is unreal compared to most MDF kits out there. So, well, that's drying. <clears throat> Let's take a little break and, uh, and do, um, and do kind of the, what are they called? The chimneys. So we'll be right back. I'll set up, clean up and set up for that. And we're back. So these are the pieces for the chimneys. Um, fairly simple. So. Uh, let's do the short one first and so the basic construction is kind of these two pieces that, uh, that X together like that as the base and then everything kind of attaches in on that so let's start there okay fabulous now these guys plug into um, both sides these guys plug into these right here this is piece number 83 it's kind of the like cog looking thing um, with the slots Whoop. Come on now, we had you. There we are. Fabulous. Okay. So now, I want to go around plugging in. <coughs> um, plugging in the bits that attach to it. So let's, uh, let's just get some glue going. And I'll take these pieces and we'll say <coughs> that... Uh, Let's see here. We'll say we'll put all of the holes on the top side. All right. Let's just do that. Cool. All right, so go ahead, and uh, you guys don't need to watch me do this whole thing here. Um, go ahead, do that all the way around, and then uh, lastly, take this blank piece, um, piece number 85, and put it at the very top. So go ahead, do that with both the chimneys, and we'll be right back. Okay, and there they are. So we have our two chimney stacks ready to go. It actually looks super cool um, now that I see it all like in person. Um, yeah, so there we go. I'm pretty excited about this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to uh, to work on this roof um, and these st chimney stacks are a part of that. So first things first, let's get uh, let's get this little guy glued on top here. Um, pretty simple, pretty simple little job. Just a big flat surface. Let's take some glue. Just get it on there. Cool. Obviously making sure to line up these grooves so that your chimney stacks can get on. And then I'm gonna make sure that I line up the 
this edge of it. And then it's even on both sides here. Whoa. Cool. So I'm lining up all these straight lines through the curves. I'm lining this up to make sure and lining up this edge to make sure that it's in the, in the middle. Um, so then we have, um, if the curve is on the top, then we have these two pieces. Um, the flat one goes on the right and the graded one will go on the left, okay? So let's get those glued on. And I think I'm gonna glue them right touch, touching this edge here. Um, so let's do that. Same thing, I'm gonna try and line it up so it's flat on this side, where my thumb is, flat on here. All right, let's go to the other one. the like shingled effect on this really really cool great um, so we have this piece as well which kind of goes on the end and really adds some cool detail um, to this bit here so let's figure that out yeah something like that should be all right cool Get some glue on there. Such fine, intricate work. Like these, these little pillars sticking out. Are so, so good. Such a, you must have an, a fantastic laser. Like I have not seen details that fine um, cutting out. Cause there, there is, man, you could really easily break some of those pulling them, pulling the MDF off the frame. So as long as you're careful and you don't break any, oh, it's just so impressive. Actually, I'm lining it up with the top, with the top edge of the uh, of the roof. Okay. So, I'm just gonna shove a little more glue here. See that it's just lifted up just a little bit. It's a little uneven. I'll make sure it stays down on that corner. Okay. Fabulous. So now what we're gonna do is let's glue in our chimney stacks. So with it facing this way, we have the tall one at the back, and the short one at the top. Instead of coming straight down, I like came in on the side. You can see me struggling there a little bit. So if you come in on the side, it seems to be a little bit easier. Um, now, I bet it's resting right on that bar there. So I'm gonna put some glue there on both sides. And then maybe a little glue, just a little bit where I feel like it might contact in here. Probably contacts all the way around, but I'm just going to put four little dots. North, south, east, and west. Cool. Amazing. 
super stoked. That looks really cool. All right, just, ah, already so much, just so much going on. Let's um, let's now get set up to jazz up the uh, the roof and add all the details, and then guys, we are running towards the end of this project. So I've got the detail bits for um, the smokestacks, and uh, the the way it is um, in the image or in the instructions is the tall one is the uh, the smokestack with the grate. Um, so there's a bunch of these circular pieces here, and what I think these are for. First one um, is possibly cover up the, uh, the dots here, but maybe it just goes on top, right on top, because, uh, yeah, okay, so what I think I might do, oh, it's actually in the instructions, it says to make an angle cut, um, on this piece so that it lines up perfectly. So here, I'm gonna take it and make a, I guess kind of like a 45 degree angle cut on there. And then hopefully we'll get the same angle on this one right here. Now let's test fit this again. Beautiful. Now I may cut it back just a bit more just so I can go further down because what I think I want to do is cover up all of the dots here, which would be real sick. Um, and great, so great attention to detail for these guys to like cover up anything that would make this look like an MDF kit. I mean, it's super, super, super smart of them. Tabletop Scenics, they got it going on. All right. I think I can actually need to make the angle a little bit greater. Okay, so let's start with that. It's just making the angle a little bit more steep. On both sides. Okay, now we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we're in a good place. Oh yeah, nailed it on one side. And I think I still might need to take off a little bit more on the other side. So let's do that and then I think we're good. Great. Yeah, amazing, there it is. So that's sweet, I love this addition right here. Uh, and that feature of the kit. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's cover that up, put a little glue all the way around and slide this bad boy right on top. Amazing. Super stoked about that. Looking great. Good design feature, guys. Table talk to Scenics, top of the game. All right, so next they have uh, just an, a fully completed circle to cover um, the same things, but all the way around at the top. And so let's just dry fit that a little bit. Hmm. A little 
tight probably because my cylinder is a little bit uh, askew so make sure to get that that thing perfectly straight if you guys are doing this next time uh, probably stretch it around so well tell you what let's, uh, let's shave one of these down just slightly to help us fit it around Cool. I bet we're good with that. So let's get some glue all the way around. Cool. breaking it okay so to help save myself I'm just gonna make a cut in it and we'll just fill that with glue and here we go that's how you cover up your mistakes <laughs> um, awesome so yeah just just one straight cut Gave us the ability to uh, um, to widen that a little bit, so it wasn't a struggle anymore. Solve your own problems. All right, now I'm just gonna take this guy. You saw me. I put glue on the top already. And this kind of just rests on top. I'm actually gonna pull the circular bar underneath up to uh, rest on that as well, so that there, you know, there's kind of no gap between the two here. All right, and then we got this grate. So, just put a little glue on the outside, just a little bit, and shove that grate on there. Beautiful, lovely. Okay, so now, now let's do the shorter one. So, this one's a little different. Um, same idea though. Okay, so let's get the uh, let's get some angles going on that. Okay, and test fit this guy. Ooh, we almost got on the first shot this time. <laughs> So it's just a little bit um, touching, just a little bit. So we'll just make it a little bit wider. And then I think with that one cut, we're good to go. I believe in it. So let's just put our glue and get crazy. Get that other top ring on. So glue all the way around. I guess let's hope this one goes on a little bit smoother. But if it doesn't, we can just do the cutting trick again. That looks like we're getting a little crack there too. So let's just take that knife. Make one little cut. I'm trying to be careful that I don't cut any other details on this thing because it's very close to the other band. Okay. Okay. Fill that with some glue. 
so I get the extra thick stuff. This is good at filling gaps. as well as gluing your models. Cool. Now this one's a little different. This one is like, uh, it's like this um, wheel, it's like mechanical wheel uh, hatch to open it. So, Get that on there, and then there's this tiny little dot that just glues into uh, this little dot right here. And they give you a little laser cut circle so you can center it properly. Very kind of you guys to do that. Very considerate. Nice attention to detail. And then, so that, that like raises this next piece up off of the, uh, the ground just to give that, that like depth. Too cool. Look at that. Ha! I love that. It's amazing. Very, very neat. Great little, great little detail there. Cool. So, um, all right. So, th so those are, so those are done now, which is amazing. Um, what we can also do too, is we can add the shingle panels, uh, right here. So let's just, uh, let's just do that. Shall we? Um, all right. Get some glue going. Beauties. So this covers up a lot of detail, or a lot of, um, it covers up these grooves here, makes it look, look a lot more, it's got that flat edge on the bottom, which is really nice. And so there are two different pieces that we'll leave separated out for now. And we'll do the other six pieces. Okay. And, um, yeah. Just finish that off. And what you want to make sure you do is line up the grooves. So there's like the, the grooves here and the grooves at the top. Make sure those line up because, um, They'll need to line up so that our, our little like buttress pieces attach, the, the eagle buttress pieces. And obviously make sure you're putting them on so the shingles are on top. Too easy. All right. So now, um, I think it's piece 92G that you put on the left side here on the screen. Um, basically it's the one with the groove just on the one side for the, at the end of the chain here. And then 93G the other side um, so that it has kind of like a flat, flat join with this, uh, this panel, but still leaves the groove for your, uh, for the little like cool like buttress, not buttress, de uh, whatever, the piece of detailing on the roof. <coughs> um, okay, so now there's these like uh, grates that go here and here. And so let's just, uh, let's get set up to do those right now. And we're set up, there's our pieces for it. And it's a, it's a very easy um, design to put together. So basically we're just gonna put some glue around this in all of these holes. Um, because you kind of got this interlocking uh, pattern of rails. So we'll put the top ones in first. And Oops. Definitely go a certain way. <laughs> it's got to turn around. Long end and a short end. Looks like the short end of it is at the top. Cool. Oh, this is the other way around too. So just 
just interlocking those pieces. It's a, you know, it was slightly, uh, slightly complicated, but not, not too bad, nothing too scary. Um, so then the side with the grate, you want to put your grate on. So we'll just get some glue. four corners. Put your grate piece on top. Oh, clearly goes the other way around. Everything's just offset just slightly. And then this piece kind of covers up all of the uh, interlocking stuff so it looks nice and clean. So of any of the, the mess from the, the kit. Great, pretty slick. Okay, so the other one is just slightly different. It's like this uh, double turbine, which is very cool. Um, so, same thing, I'll just get our glue out. Let's get these uh, interlocking neuters here. It's a short one on top again, maybe. Nope. It's the other way. A long one on top. And there. Okay, so now let's check this out. So the turbines, I think, are sunken right down to the back of this. Um, or does it go here? I don't know. Let's just let's just dry fit this real quick. See how it all looks. Oops, it's the other way. So I think yeah, just with that. Yeah. Yeah. Or wait. Yeah. Well, maybe in there. <laughs> I'll just put some glue in. Just to seal it down. It'll hide. It'll be hidden by the uh, piece on top. Um, but anyways, let's also put some glue corners here okay and now we just have to glue down this guy too easy too easy. All right. So uh, let's get set up for the next bit of detailing. All right. So there's a bunch of small little pieces here, but I just love what they have going on. Very creative way to add a lot of depth to this piece. So you have this piping system right here, which is very, very neat. And so let's get that guy on top. Put some glue in all the four corners as if there were four corners on that thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, cool. And then we have these cool little details. So just a couple more turbine bits. Um, let's see these, those sit in it. So let's just put a big glob of glue right here, right to the edge. And then this one too. Um, 
take the turbine and the ring. Just shove it in there. Shove the turbine in the other ring. Pick up the whole mess and just shove it on that pile of glue right there. Take my knife and just push those down, make sure they're touching the bottom. Great, and then you have this like oval grate uh, thingy here. The same thing, it just goes inside, so. Put it down, put the grate inside, and push the mess around with the knife. Just push that down. Amazing. Amazing. Like it's just already adding so much to this kit. Um, cool. Now we have this one here, another like uh, um, wheel crank uh, hatch. Um, so we put that kind of ring in there, the actual hatch itself, and then again, there's like a little dot that goes on there to lift up the uh, the wheel crank. Great. Okay. So there you go. That's that. That's the uh, the top detailing. All done. Let's set up to. Uh, there's a little bit more. Um, ridging and stuff to do and there's some more of these so let's get those last few pieces and really finish this guy off there it is so this really fine intricate fencing right here and these like cool imperial eagles hanging off of the roof um, so the uh, let's do the little bit of fencing first and so I just put a little glue in that line there put a little glue along this line here here and here okay so sweet that was easy that seemed easy more challenging to line up three holes instead of two. And it's a super delicate piece, so I don't want to break it, right? I don't force anything. I think I might actually do is use the knife just to push it. There we go. There we go. It's a neat little trick. Use a hobby knife to push down so you don't have to push down on those spikes because they're so fragile they'll just break. So using the knife to push down on the, the length of that piece of, of wood holding those spikes on was that's what you gotta do, seems like. Oh this one lined up just so much easier. I'll still push it down a little bit. Fabulous. Great. Oh man, this just looks so cool. So cool. Great, all right, let's get these things on. So let's test fit one. Um, and there's seven of these things, seven or eight of these things, and they just kind of line up all along the outside there. Okay, so that should be pretty simple. So let's just, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll stick glue on this side of it. Just run some glue down the length of that. And then just hang you right there. And uh, make sure you're not leaning too much. Get you nice and straight. Okay, cool. Might have to just like glue all them on and then line them up after. We'll see. Amazing. So go ahead, do them all, and we'll be back when it's done. And there it is. The final piece has been laid. The kit is complete. So let's crown our building and call this project finished. There it goes. Whoops. 
There it goes. It just sits right, right in there. That is a cool building. Wow. Okay, let's uh, let's move the camera. Actually, I can just move this around. <laughs> Super cool. Should we get some models for scale? I got. Uh, what do I got here? I got some Necromunda, or yeah, some Necromunda Escher gang girls. And so scale is amazing. Here, let me adjust the camera so we get a better look at this guy. And we're back. Look at that. So there are Necromunda gals kind of hiding out in this building. Super, super cool. Um, so I measured it up. It's about six and a quarter inches at its tallest point and about seven inches long. So it's quite a sizable building. Easily hide a rhino, um, easily hide like a Redemptor Dreadnought, um, but still like a knight would stick out. Actually, here I have the, I have the skeleton of a knight castellan right here. So, you know, you're covering a, a good chunk of that night with this building, actually. You wouldn't fully be hiding, especially with the, with the guns on top, but uh, you're definitely covering a good chunk yourself, which would be really neat. Um, this building will fit in in, in any sci-fi setting with the, uh, with the Imperial Eagles, though. Definitely this is screaming to be an used in some kind of Imperial, um, Imperial world. And, uh, and definitely be fought around by, I don't know, some Imperial Guardsmen, maybe Sisters of Battle or something like that. Um, it is just so cool, so detailed. Like, I am loving the, uh, it's very gothic. I just love the setting that they, um, that they are just putting you right into it. So, it's so good. Um, let's start spinning this guy around and just give you guys shots at all angles. Amazing. Like, look at the detail there. The depth and the detail is so good. I'm very, very impressed with this kit overall. So, wow. Amazing job, Tabletop Scenics. Um, I can't wait to see more stuff. Guys, you have to check out their website. The stuff they're doing is phenomenal. So get on there, check it out, and, uh, and get some of these kits. Like We want to encourage them to keep making more of these kits. And so definitely kit your table out with tons of this stuff. Um, I know it took it took some time to build this guy, but man, it's totally worth it. Imagine a whole table themed and filled with buildings like this. It's super, it's super robust. Like this thing is, is not gonna, it's not really gonna break, but it's also multi-tiered, right? So for, uh, for the folks who play ITC, um, you have these multi-tiered platforms for your, uh, for your chicks to, or you know, not just your girls, because you're not just using Escher or Sisters of Battle, but um, for anything to really hide into. And it's just, it's just amazing. Like, look at that. It clicks right back together, super easy, multi-tier, but it's still very stable. Like, it's not falling apart, because everything has a setting to, like, sit into. Um, so it's not, gonna, it's not gonna fall apart on you, right? So there you go, super solid fantastic building guys let's close out this video all right and there you have it the hive city chapel from tabletop scenics well done guys this kit is amazing i'm very very excited about it um just so you guys know that tabletop scenics is like the cromlec uh, uh terrain wing of their company and so man they are putting out some of the best mdf kits out there definitely go check out their site. Um, thank you so much to Cromlech and Tabletop Scenics for sending this over. I thoroughly enjoyed this kit. Um, we, uh, we got one as well to donate to our local gaming club. So thank you for being super generous and giving us uh, that extra one as well. The guys are gonna be very excited, um, especially to have one of these tables at the club um, to play with whenever they want. So. Um, guys, stay tuned to see this building. Um, in the future, we are going to uh, paint it, and uh, I'm going to do a tutorial on that as well. Um, look forward to seeing it in future battle reports, um, which would be really nice. So, guys, plenty to look forward to. Thank you again uh, to Tabletop Scenics for sending this to us. And, uh, and yeah, so that's it. So, guys, hey, if you like this video, we would love if you just jump down there, hit subscribe, um, and hit the little bell if you want notifications in the future. Guys, leave a comment. What do you think? What do you think about these cool new buildings that they're doing? Um, Tell us, let us know. If you have some cool uh, tips on how to build MDF terrain, um, then uh, you know, let me know. I'd love, to, I'd love to get better at doing this stuff. And so, 
Um, so definitely leave a comment and like the video if you want. Um, guys, if you want to support us at the channel and, uh, and if you really like this video, go down and uh, go to our Patreon page where you, for as little as a dollar a video, you can support everything we do here at the channel, including doing cool tutorials, doing battle reports, painting tutorials, um, scratch built terrain. Jay does tons of scratch built terrain, which is really cool. Um, you can also support us by uh, getting a cool shirt from Spreadshirt. We just uh, just released these um, recently, and so be excited for you guys to check that out. And uh, hey, that's it for now. Guys, we will see you at our next encounter. Like a monkey in a rocket on his way back home.